Hi everybody, this is the Left Hand Shooter, and today we're going to take a look at some uh, knives, fishing knives and fishing pliers and scissors and shears and stuff for fishing that, that you can get at Walmart. I was at Walmart uh, last week and I was uh, down in their fishing section, and I started thinking, I used to have a, a fishing, I used to have two, two different, I had a freshwater boat and a, and a, a saltwater fishing boat. I used to have and got me thinking about fishing stuff so I kind of so I have some of the stuff I have is stuff I've had for for a couple of years and then I I bought I bought everything off the wall to go over and I it's not a review just just to show you what you can get at Walmart at a decent price if you're into uh into fishing well here's this first one I have here this is a fillet knife got this from uh this is Ozark Trail I think this is like a six dollar knife, fillet knife. You know, feels good in the hand. You know, it's everything's made everything. And another thing too is, if you're getting something from Walmart, it goes even if even if the company is is from another country, it's it's the stuff was made in China. So this is. Well, this obviously this is Ozark Trail, so it is China, but it's decent. You know, it comes with a decent sheath. Put it in here. Put it on your put it on your belt. Okay, that's that one. I have this. I've had this for a while. Then I got a uh, this one. This is a this is not an Ozark Trail. This is made by Mustard. And also, it's a. Uh, it's got the stainless steel. It's it's comparable to the other one. It's a little bit skinnier, a little lighter. Flex is okay. And you can pick all these things up at, at Walmart. Well, at least you could pick these ones up uh, a few years ago at Walmart. You probably still can. Different ones. And I have another. I believe this is a six inch fillet knife or boning knife. Ozark Trail. It's the same color as this guy. Just looks a little bit different. A little bit smaller. It doesn't, it doesn't come with the cool sheath like this. It comes with a little plastic sheath. So you keep from cutting yourself when it's, in the, it's sitting in the tackle box or whatever. Let's put this thing away here. And I got this thing, it's a little utility knife, bait knife. You know, I think it's like a dollar, dollar fifty or dollar eighty Walmart. You know, something you could scum all up, lose, it doesn't really matter, it's so cheap. But what's cool about this thing, it does come with it. Something you can put on your put on your belt, have on your side. If you lose it, no big deal. Okay, here is a uh, here's another bait knife. This is come is from a, a company that comes out of uh, Finland, but this is their cheap stuff. So it comes. So this one is uh, Chinese Repelia ceramic bait knife. Pretty freaking sharp though. I've had like this one. I think I've had for about three years. Let's see what else I got. I've had for a while. This is a. I actually never used it. This is this is a oyster, oyster knife. So you can pry them open and pop out the oysters. It's not sharp or anything. It's just just a tool. Okay, and this right here. I don't I don't know if this came from Walmart. I don't know where the heck I got this thing. This is a. It's called Black Belt. Anyway, it's just a bait knife. You see, it's all scummy. I've used this quite a few times. And it has uh, basically some dikes in here so you can cut you can cut uh, cut your line. I, and and the, to tell you the truth is, I don't even know if this even came with this thing. I've had this, I, I know this, this did, but 
This may have, it might have just been mine I threw in there, but it comes with a belt clip. I don't even know where you can get that at. But let me show you the stuff I just picked up uh, the other day. Okay, this is the Cuda. And it's all Chinese. But it's what it says here is titanium bonded, three times harder than steel, blade stays sharper longer, precision grounded. This has a German 4116 corrosion resistance uh, stainless steel, non slip CUDA scale uh, pattern grip, six inch uh, boning knife. And let's take a look. If you can see that it says CUDA on there. It does say German 4116 uh, stainless with uh, number 18. I don't know if that's the serial number of this thing or not. It's 18800 on there. But it is super, super sharp. And this one, it does also comes with a uh, sheath. And I, I don't think I paid that much for this thing. I think it was like eight bucks or something maybe i can't remember okay now i saw these on the wall this is a six inch flex knife by danco and it also has the 4116 german steel teflon coated for ultra corrosion extra large comfort grips that's tpr grips locking ventilated sheath and here's, if you can see on the back of this package here, here's the different ones they have. They got they got a five inch bait knife, six inch flex, seven inch flex knife, uh, nine inch boning knife, and 11 inch boning knife, fillet knives. Anyways, this is what, what I say it was. This is the six inch one. Nice and sharp, flex. Actually, actually pretty comfortable in your hand. Then again, you know, this is all Walmart stuff you can pick up. Reasonable price. Let's see. Uh, what do I have here? Okay, this is basically the same exact knife, but this is a seven inch version. And to get these things off, you just boink, comes right off. Laying the stuff, kind of cool. All right, cut myself. Okay, what do I have here now? Here's another Danco. This is the four inch deluxe bait knife. This is a, says here, premium grade steel, China. But this, this, is the, this is a decent bait knife. It's got everything you need on it. And it's really inexpensive. So if you lose it. See, what's cool about my old one, where did I, see? I don't know where I put it now. Oh, this, at least this one has, you know, you can, you can, you can put that on your, uh, I gotta go backwards. There it goes. At least this has a sheath you can put on for cheaper money. You can put on your belt. This one's more, more in lines of this guy. The Lux, I guess. Anyways. What else do I got here? And that's, as far as, far as uh, knives, that's all I got. And I got some other stuff. I have uh, these Hurricanes. These are shears. Cut line. Cutting stuff, any, any type of fishing stuff you need to do. These actually work really well. I've used these things a few times. All sprung loaded, feel good on you. These are decent shears. And keeping in line with like the shears and scissors, I have uh, Repelia. 
this is a, you know, Finland company, but this is Chinese stuff. These are their super line scissors. And these are fairly, I think these are like two bucks or something. But it's great for cutting line or whatever you got. Let's see if there's anything special on these. Super line scissors. Serrated, has a serrated cutting edge. Stainless steel, oversized finger holes, which they work okay. Then here is the, here's the Ozark Trail offering for about the same price, I believe. There are large, comfortable finger grips, corrosion resistance, uh, cuts new generation of uh, bonded fishing line. And again, you know, these are a little bit bigger. These ones actually feel better. You can feel you can feel a little better quality here. But I'm I'm pretty sure it will do the same job. But if I was gonna if you're gonna have to get one, get this guy. Okay. Now let's get into uh, some pliers, some split ring pliers. These are uh, this is this is uh, five inch split ring pliers. Well, five inches the whole the whole size here. This is made by Strike King. This is their uh, KVD line. I guess they have a whole line of this KVD of all all their different uh, all their different pliers and tools and knives and stuff. But this is the only when it. Walmart that was hanging on the wall. This was the only, this was the only KVD thing that they had there. It's a, it's exclusive cushion combat grip handles, stainless steel construction, fully serrated machine edge for ultimate brand cutting performance. Let's take a look. There, and this is. Yeah, it's made by Strike King. And here's what you get. If, you're, if you need something like this. And you can put this little, has a little lock in here. It's up there and it, it holds it shut. So when it's in your, sitting in your toolbox, it's not getting all jacked up. These are, these are fairly inexpensive too. Let me see. Now I have another, uh, these are CUDA. These are carbon steel. They're bent jaws. Well, it says they're bent jaws for easier hook removal. These are, yeah, integrated wire cutting and crimps, ring splitting tip, non corrosion basically do, does it all. Got all the different uh for your different lines and different ring stuff here. It's not bad. Okay, let's see, what do I have next? Okay, this is uh Walmart, this is their aluminum fishing pliers. These were actually about $13 or $14, like kind of expensive for Walmart, but I said, what the hell? And here's what you get. You get stainless steel jaws, split ring head, crimp sleeve and leads, replaceable, oh, it has replaceable tongues and steel cutter on the tips or, or down here. These can be replaced. Um, includes sheath and lanyard with carabiner. So let's take a look here. Yeah, like what I was saying. These are aluminum. These, oh, they're spring loaded. These right here, these are carbon tungsten. You can you can replace these. I don't know where. I don't know where you uh, where you're gonna get uh, replacements. Uh, but you know, it's got all the all the things on there. And what's cool about this is then you just. that sucker on there 
Oops. You know, this is cool. It gives you a little sheath. And then what you do is you just you just put this in here. Velcro thing, and there she is. Sits on your belt. And when it's on your belt, and then you got this here, so so when you're in the boat and you know everybody drops everything, you're not gonna sit and go, well, not feeding it to the fishes. You got some recovery there. This is pretty nice though. For for Walmart crap, this is not bad. And it looks nice too. I'm sure there's a better, more expensive options, but this is cool. Let's put that back. Okay, and then you know, here's my most expensive item. These mustard pliers. These things were like $22, $22, and they're carbon steel, non-stick coating, double mounted handles or double molded handles, seven inch hero pliers, which is the whole length. And unfortunately, these are made in China too. But you can feel, these ones actually have really good quality. You can feel the quality in these ones. It's got all your all your stuff here. But these are these are the most expensive things on the table here. All right. And last but not least, I uh, I bought an electric. This is an Ozark Trail electric fillet knife. These go for about these are about fourteen bucks. It has a uh, the blade pops on and off. You click them together on this little this thing right here. And they click into here and it has a safety. There is a safety right here. So you can't accidentally pull the trigger, cut yourself. But you just pull that in. And let the machine do the work. Now, I don't know, I've never used these things, so I, I don't, I guess it's good for cutting. I don't know how precise one's gonna be. But if you got some big ugly fish. All right, and okay, let me lock it. Let me actually unplug it here. And you wanna take these things apart. Just pull these and just and it pulls right out. And the same way of putting them in. And then this, this comes apart like this, so you can clean them. Put it back in here, throw them, throw them back in. They lock right back in and you're off. But you can get these, I think it was like 14 bucks. It was like $14 at Walmart. That's why I saw it was at the, actually it was sitting at the bottom of the, the rack there and I go, what the heck? Let's get one of these. But anyways, I, oh, also bought a, uh, I bought this little toolbox thing. like uh, 10 bucks what else oh I actually have one other thing in here these uh these four these locking forceps I don't know what the heck you can use these for but I guess you need to lock something down or yank something out with it anyways those are like a buck or something so I picked that up anyways but then I, I here's the here's the box what I it's what I'm throwing everything inside I keep it in here works just fine so Made by uh, Hyper Tough. That's a uh, Walmart brand. Everything's Walmart. Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. Made made in China. China. All right. So if you got any questions or comments about anything you saw here, um, just le leave it in the comments. Remember to like and share. And remember, let's go, Brandon. Later.